In this video, we will solve a numerical on the impact of per unit tax on the supply. The question is like this. Consider a competitive industry where demand is being given by uh, P is equal to 50 minus Q. P is the price and Q denotes the quantity. Uh, the marginal cost function is as marginal cost is equal to Q. If government imposes a tax of $10 per unit of production of this good, the equilibrium market price will go up by the options are uh, by zero dollars by ten dollars by twenty dollars or five dollars okay let's try to solve this question so basically what we are being given we are being given the demand function is p is equal to 50 minus q this is our demand function okay and also we are being told marginal cost is q and in competitive uh, market we know price is equal to marginal cost price is equal to marginal cost and marginal cost is being given us as q that means and also we know that uh, the supply function in case of perfect uh, perfectly competitive industry is actually our marginal cost okay so this p is equal to q or marginal cost they denote our supply function okay supply function okay now um, let us uh, try to graphically also depict this so let's draw the graph like this okay on this axis we have the quantity okay on this axis we have the price okay now um, before the imposition of per unit uh, tax okay what is our equilibrium condition this is our demand function this is our supply function okay so our demand function is this we can uh, draw the demand function like this let me draw the demand function is okay this is our demand function and our supply function is p is equal to q so it goes through the origin so let us use another color here so this is our supply function okay which is also our marginal cost function okay marginal cost function so before the imposition of uh, per unit tax what is our equilibrium condition equilibrium occurs where demand is equal to supply okay this is our demand function so at equilibrium at equilibrium at equilibrium demand should be equal to supply this is our demand function this is our supply function okay so p is equal to this stuff p is equal to this stuff so we can as soon as p uh, lhs is same we can uh, equate the rhs that implies our 50 minus q should be equal to q okay so solving for q so if i transpose this q here it will become plus q so we will get 2q is equal to 50 which implies our q will be equal to 50 upon 2 if i transpose this 2 it will get divided so let me write it here but when you you get out okay so this comes out to be 25 that means our equilibrium quantity before the imposition of tax is 25 okay and corresponding to, to this what is our equilibrium price so equilibrium price will be equal to just plug this uh, equilibrium quantity in demand function to get the equilibrium price that is 50 minus the equilibrium uh, quantity we got 25 that means our equilibrium price will be equal to 25 okay p is equal to 25 okay i hope i am making myself clear these are our equilibrium condition uh, pointers before the imposition of per unit tax so we can graphically show here so our quantity is 25 and corresponding to this our equilibrium price is 25 also now the question tells us that the government imposes a per unit tax of 10 dollars per unit uh, you know uh, per unit of production of this good okay when the government imposes per unit tax what will happen uh, to our supply function so when the government imposes per unit tax our supply function will shift upwards by the amount of tax okay so let us 
uh, use another color so our uh, supply function uh, will shift upwards like this okay so this is our new supply function okay let me write it here this is s superscript n denotes new supply function so uh, after the imposition let me write it here after uh, imposing after imposing per unit tax tax what will be our new supply function originally our supply function was this our new supply function will be equal to p is equal to q plus the amount of per unit tax okay so this is our new supply function now uh, again the equilibrium condition will require that our demand and supply functions should intersect okay this is our new supply function okay we equate this new supply function with our demand function again okay so equilibrium uh, requires so equilibrium equilibrium implies our demand should be equal to supply okay let me use uh, sub superscript here to denote the new supply function so demand function is this supply function is this lhs are same we can uh, equate the rhs which implies uh, 50 minus q should be equal to q plus 10 okay now again solving for q so if i transpose this minus uh, 10 here it will get subtracted so 50 minus 10 will be 40 okay and if i transpose this minus q here it will become plus q so we have q plus q is 2q which implies our q will be equal to 40 upon 2 which comes out to be uh, you know 40 upon 2 will come out to be 20 obviously so our new equilibrium quantity will be 20 okay so let me write it here so new equilibrium quantity will be 20 okay corresponding to this what will be our new price new price will be equal to so uh, just plug this uh, q is equal to 20 again in the demand function so we have 50 minus the value of uh, q is 20 so which gives us 30 as the new price okay that means when the supply curve uh, shifts upwards that means our marginal cost of production has increased okay obviously so we will be producing less output and how much we are producing only 20 units and what is the uh, market clearing price here market clearing prices uh, we have calculated here that is 30 okay so we were being told how much price will go up okay by how um, many dollars the price will go up so originally what was our price originally our price was 25 dollars now new uh, new price is 30 dollars that means change in price will be equal to uh, new price sorry change in price will be equal to new price minus old equilibrium price okay so new price is 30 and old price is 25 that means um, the price will increase by five dollars okay also uh, we can calculate the amount of revenue that the government will get okay so government will get a, um, an amount of revenue so okay so we can calculate government revenue let me denote it by gr government revenue will be equal to quantity transacted okay after the imposition of per unit time uh, per unit tax into the tax amount that is ten dollars okay into tax so quantity transacted is 20 and tax uh, is 10 that means government will get a revenue of 200 dollars okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you